Hey, what's going on everybody? Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, it looks like we have a little hint as to what the new update is going to be. And also a hint as to when the release date is going to be. So we are going to take a look at the new developments and I want to get you guys opinion. How realistic is this? Now, if you guys do enjoy this video at all or any of my content, please be sure hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We are literally so close to 35,000 subscribers and I know that we can hit it before the next update. But let's jump right into um, the new information that has been seen. Now, this, of course, is a, uh, a minor theory, but it won't, it's one that seems more realistic. So some Something that's very interesting that happened um, yesterday is a Nori, which is a mod over on the Dreamlight Valley official Discord. They made a comment that really caught my eye that I thought was interesting. They said, this is probably a long shot, but Courtney's status changed to a door. In the past, she's changed it to a pumpkin on October 4th, which was 20 days before the Halloween duties came back. If it follows that pattern, it would be February 13th, which is a Tuesday common update day now nori is a mod for the team doesn't like officially work for the development team so this is just speculation here but i'm looking at this and this is more in line as to what i actually thought was going to happen i figured and this has been my theory for like over a month now and i discussed it in a live stream but i think the next update is obviously going to have michael wazowski uh possibly starting up at the whole skull rock thing but what's interesting is we have not had any actual doors appear in the game in a long time, right? Like they just completely removed them. Nobody's getting doors to drop. And I know it's one of those features that so many people have been requesting. So I thought that this update, like the major pull to it, besides a new character, a new realm, and then some of Skull Rock, was going to be the addition of additional like doors. So this was Courtney's status updated where she put a door and then put hmm dot dot. So Courtney is a Gameloft employee and works for the development team. And this right here is definitely not just a coincidence. I don't think that she would be throwing this up here just to mess with us. I do believe that this is a hint that more doors are going to come to the game. Now, it could also just be like... You know, Monsters Inc. is coming and that's like their whole theme. But you cannot bring Monsters Inc. characters to the game and remove all of the doors without having a reason for it. So I do believe that they're actually going to be adding this. Now, the update, is it actually going to be on February 13th? I think that is possible and here's why. So when we got the free content roadmap, as you can see, it was spaced out. So in like December 5th, we had, you know, the Jack Skellington stuff. And then they say late winter of 2024 is the whole Monsters Inc. update. And then early spring is a 2024. And then late spring is another update. And then summer, which is actually probably like late May, June-ish. I'm thinking that they are wanting to pretty much like skip months or be more consistent with their updates, even if they're smaller. So I think since we had this at the beginning of December and then all of January, we get nothing. So that's two months with nothing. So I think this would be February and what better time to release an update would be like right before Valentine's Day. It's in the middle of the month and that would give enough time for maybe this early spring update to come out late April. Um, or maybe late March, early April, but then we also have to squeeze in this update here too. So there's a lot of content coming. So I do believe that the next update is going to be in February, which we've been speculating for a while. And if they would uh, like bring all of these doors to the game, I think that would be so amazing. Now, I know this is a feature that I've seen a lot of people that would want, but what about you guys? Do you guys want to have a huge update for just like a bunch of different doors? Because decorating inside your, your house is really difficult because no matter what you decorate, it's hard to fit the aesthetic without the doors like ruining it, right? So the only doors we really have access to right now is the access door, which is this one right here, which looks pretty nice. Uh, there's the celestial door. I think most of us have that. Then there's just um, this door right here. Uh, this one right here says, it's a door is a Monsters Inc. a theme piece of a de a door furniture. Now here's what they said on the removed availability, and this goes for all of the doors. 
This door was previously found in Scrooge's store and furniture pouches. In update 1.3, a doors were changed from wall-mounted decorative objects to functional replacements for the doors inside the player's house. Since that update, there have been no player reports of this or any other door appearing in Scrooge's store or inside furniture pouches. There has been no update from the developers about this item's removal from game, which suggests it is still intended by the developers to be available for sale in Scrooge's store. It is possible it has a very low chance to appear in the store and has not been reported by players to the wiki since it was modified in the update. I don't think that is. I think they were looking at the roadmap. They were deciding what to do with the updates. And I think they pulled the doors. That way they can add these doors to the game later on with the brand new doors and make it seem like a larger update. Uh, they kind of did this with the whole like batch cooking. A lot of us were wanting bulk and batch cooking and they stayed quiet on it. Like they didn't mention anything about it. And then all of a sudden, boom, they released it with Eternity Isles. So they don't communicate a lot of things because I think they're saving it for updates. And I think that's what they're doing with the whole doors. They knew probably a year ago that they were not going to fix this or bring it back. I think they purposefully pulled it from the game. And uh, yeah, so that's what they're going to do with it. Now, they also have the Frozen Portal, which is right here, which looks really nice. We got the Grand Double Doors, which... I really want this. This would be so beautiful inside some of the rooms. We also have the Halloween Town Archway, which we already can get from the premium shop. I don't know why it's under the doors. It doesn't really make sense to me, but we have that. I do have this piece, the Lion Cub Living Door, which is actually a really nice door, and it also makes a pretty unique sound. We got the Painted Double Door. This is another one that actually works well with a lot of different builds. So this is a Frozen theme. We just got our standard simple door that already comes with the game. And then here's another one that I have is the uh, thorny door. And I think a lot of people actually have this door as well. Now keep in mind, none of this is officially confirmed, but I usually, I try not to make a video on something unless it, there's like some meat to it, you know? And I think this theory, I think is pretty strong. And it also lines up with my theory as well. But then having Courtney just update it to a door, having some other members of the community kind of catch those things in. It could be little like hints that they like to drop for us, which they've done before. I do expect us to get plenty of new updates regarding the new content within the next couple of days. I kind of figured that they would start doing this around. Oh my gosh, who is that? Is that Gaston? Oh, there he is. He's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> not him flexing his muscles and ruining my outro all right let's go up here Alrighty, so as i was saying i i don't know i just think that this is the direction they're going to take which has me so excited because we could have new content in literally like less than 20 days and that's super exciting to me now i am on vacation um over the next few days so if I might miss some updates, uh, I might post it on like community posts or stuff over on Discord to try and keep you guys updated if I'm not able to make a, a video on it. But um, yeah, we have some exciting stuff. Hopefully we'll get some more information. Even if I'm gone, I still would love to hear about some new information and, you know, little teasers. I feel like over on Twitter and their socials, they're going to start dropping little hints around and I'm here for it. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Let me know your theory in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. I hope you guys have the best week ever and I'll see you in the next one.